this is a great moment for us to, uh, you know, music is also a beautiful knowledge. It's a lot of, it's, a, it's, it's, it's great power, you know. Sure. Um, I always look at it like learning, interacting with, you know, I mean, for me, jamming is going to be learning. It's going to be interacting with newer artists and, uh, you know, fun people. I'm going to learn a lot. I'm really looking forward to it. Really. That's awesome. I think uh, all the digital superstars are looking forward to that. So, w should we be expecting spiritual music from Jamin? Any, any clues? Or uh <laughs> Well, music is always spiritual, isn't it? <laughs> right on. <laughs> but um, we'll see. Okay. We haven't really decided what we're going to do. Not letting the cat out of the bag, I see that. <laughs> awesome. Satya, any questions? Wait, no, I mean, uh, Salim Suleiman have been very uh, mysterious in trying to not share what they're doing, but I want to ask the same question to you, Mithun. My name is Satya from YouTube. Uh, you've probably delivered some of the biggest hits of the decade. Uh, that's Ashiki 2 is the only song I can sing in the shower, so uh, that's one of my favorites. Um, and, but you've been pretty much, very much under the radar, uh, but we'd love to know what you're planning in Jammin. What, what, what's going to be up from you? What got me excited about Jammin was, uh, as you said, <clears throat> I've been enjoying doing film music uh, for the last decade or so now, and uh, I've, I feel very fulfilled as a film composer. And just at a time when I was looking to do something different and, you know, break into other avenues, that's when uh, I got a call from Samir. And uh, when he narrated the entire concept to me, I think it's, uh, uh, you know, being brought up in a musical family, my father is, has been a film composer, my grandfather also. Uh, it could be that, you know, sometimes we get into a pattern and we always approach music from one mindset. But uh, here I went through this entire portfolio of artists who were doing different kind of music, different thought processes. And I thought it would be very interesting to engage with them, you know, exchange ideas. As Salim said, a lot of learning would be definitely uh, something that as a musician I could gain from this project. And lastly, I don't know what, but there's some connect. Some of my most successful songs have been with first timers, with newcomers, relatively newcomers, if I put it that way. Not that they are, but I think that uh, Fresh perspective really works for my music, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Awesome, thank you. So I have one, one in your strategy to stay under the radar, is that strategy? Because you are one of the people, you know, who's done such, a, such an amazing body of work, but I'm hoping that with Jamin, that we can actually associate you a lot more, at least in the digital world, and bring you out, because I think a lot of the youth need to see you out there and know this is Mithun, and we're hoping to do that with you in Jamin. Sure, sure, why not, yeah. Awesome, okay. Moving on to uh, the most famous boy band from India, Sanam. So guys, you're just crossing 800,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. Clearly, I think every girl in the audience can vouch for what's working for you guys. <laughs> That's one of the things that is working. <laughs> but beyond that, what's the secret? Uh, uh, super manager, <laughs> I'm not plugging here. But <laughs> But yeah, tell us what's the secret sauce. Uh, we're friends first. Um, I met these guys when we were in school together in Muscat. And uh, we started playing in a school band together. And I met Keshu in Chennai and we had a band together. And uh, I think when your relationship with uh, a member of a band or someone you're working with is not just about music, it's more about um, what you share with them. Uh, um, as like as uh, personalities and individuals, that's when the music is uh, more uh, uh, easier to like work together because everybody has different music ideas. All of us have different influences, and uh, when we work on an idea, you know there might be four different out, uh, inputs, but it all comes together because we have the same intention to make good music. <coughs> Yeah, I think there's no really, there, there's no secret. It's just that uh, we, we really like doing what we do and we spend a lot of time doing that. Discipline and, uh, then? But just, just discipline of, of yeah, doing Yeah, so we, we spend like our entire day together. Uh, we, yeah, so it's just that. I think we just spend a lot of time doing what we do. So I don't think there's any real big secret to it. All right, okay. Yeah, like Venki said, it's not only about music and We've known each other for a long time now. It feels like a family more than, you know, us working together. It doesn't feel like we're working, which is something that I really like, you know, when, I don't know when I started doing music because it was always there. But 
this is what I really wanted that, you know, when I'm doing music, it shouldn't feel like I'm working, you know, I'm like, I have to like, not like what I do. So this is what, you know, the fact that I'm with uh, the three of them, it feels really nice and uh, nice working with them. Yeah. Awesome. We're just having fun. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Shraddha Sharma, the first YouTube sensation in the country. The first, the first YouTube star across 100,000 fans, ladies and gentlemen. But more importantly now, more than 4 million fans across social media and you're barely 20. How does, how does one process some of this stuff? How did you deal with this? Because this was happening to you from the time you were 16 or 15, if I remember. How do you deal with that? Uh, not barely 20 anymore, turning 21 this October. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. When you're young, you yeah. always want to be older. <laughs> Works the other way around. <laughs> well, um, what was the question again? <laughs> Uh, that's the beauty about artists. It's all the art. Uh, the <laughs> question was, how do you deal with all of the, the attention? And, and, and actually, this is, this is a different kind of attention because, you know, 4 million people on social media, I just don't know how you process that. You must be getting like 500 or 5,000 pings on a daily basis on your Facebook page and on your Instagram account. How do you process that as an artist? Do you let that affect you? Do you get, do you get affected by when somebody trolls you online? Because YouTube can be harsh, online can be harsh, Facebook can be harsh. People say what they mean. So how do you deal with that up and that down 25,000 times a day? I think uh, the word dealing is not the right word. It's, it's all about the connection we make with people who watch us. Either Sanam or Raga Tripin or any one of us sitting here. It's all about, it's all about how we relate to the audience. And, and I think our music speaks for us. So my music helps me relating and not dealing. So it's my, f and my fans are like, you know, I'm, I'm just so cute, so they're like super nice to me. <laughs> yeah, did I, modesty is the other strength that, uh, you know, that comes with the turf. <laughs> so, uh, Sam, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, Siddharth, this is a question for you. Uh, you're a Jammu boy, uh, and I, I, I've been told that you have big Bollywood play. Two, three years back in Kolkata, and I was, it was like a dream for me f to m meet s uh, someone who is so talented and... When you say him, you mean Mr. Rahman? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. Salim, sir, actually. Okay. Uh, and, uh, it was... Uh, I was a bit scared. I, I still remember, uh, I think five, six days back when we recorded that song, I was li really shivering, yeah. and I had cold also, but Salim, sir, really... Uh, told me ki, yeah, chill, nothing like, nothing like that. And he went out for a time like to, uh, to make me uh, feel comfortable. So it was good experience working with him. Great experience. Okay. Awesome. 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 Uh, another question? Uh, yeah, sure. Jonita? Hi, question for you. Uh, so you, you also started off on YouTube and you are actually now uh, uh, a star in uh, Bollywood. Oh. Uh, so... Uh, how did it all happen? Did you plan it all? Was it strategy? Was it serendipity? Tell us a bit about um, that. I could say one thing. It was definitely not strategy. <laughs> um, I honestly just started out putting out songs that I really loved. Uh, a lot of the songs I've covered and a lot of the people on stage here have, I think, come to know of me thanks to those videos that I started putting out on YouTube. And it was really just an honest effort to see what people thought of my voice outside of my hometown. <laughs> Um, I'm from Toronto, and from there, Bollywood seemed miles, and I mean, it is miles and miles away, but it seemed like something that I w was too far for me to fathom. So um, I was just really thrilled that when I would put out videos, eventually people from the industry started noticing them. And now I continue to do it because I, I'm just trying to stay true to the fans that kind of came on board through my initial videos and covers. But I am trying to, like Suleiman said, this whole process is a learning process. So I'm really excited to see what I can learn in this process um, for Jammin. And I'm just trying to work with as many people as I can and kind awesome. of learn as Junita, much as I can. I, I've heard that you were, uh, a lot of your journey on being discovered was on YouTube. Is that true? Yes, definitely. Uh, back awesome. when I would start doing videos with Akash Gandhi, we did a lot of covers and some of them went virals, viral and a lot of people started taking notice and I'm really fortunate for that. Sure. Sorry, I'm just butting in, but no, not at all. Uh, it's because of Jonita. You know, the first time, uh, and this is, I'm just like, this, I'm just endorsing the platform in a huge way because if it had not been for YouTube, you know, we would have not noticed uh, 
Jonita Gandhi, who's such a fabulous singer. Uh, she, for the first time, she had posted a song which we had composed called Ye Hosla. And, uh, you know, I, I just loved it so much that I... Th that was one of her first covers and I loved it so much that I, I, re I kind of posted it and, you know, I said, I really love this voice and, and uh, you know, it's, it's, such, it's so inspirational for every individual to follow their dream and, and you know that if you have something and you really, you know, you have a great talent in you and you, if you believe in it and you, you use the medium in the right way, you know, look at Jonita, she's working with everybody, you know, uh, this girl from Toronto who's talented and, you know, had this incredible thing, was doing covers and stuff, now working with Rahman and everyone else. So this is, it's a, it's a beautiful uh, way to reach out to your dreams. Yeah.